We're going to have a little Q&A. And at the risk of sounding redundant, please, make your answers genuine. with some strange ass shit so here we go you suddenly wake to find yourself on a bed underneath a threesome of Rob Schneider Ron Jeremy and uh, Daniel Harris who appears to be high oh and Justin Bieber is in the corner or something I don't know your only weapon is a spiky steel dildo covered with shit lube and some other identified unidentified substance what do you do here's what I do I use my shirt to grab the steel dildo of death. Call Justin Bieber over, open his mouth, he cleans it. Stab Rob Schneider and Ron Jeremy. No, stab Rob Schneider, rip off Ron Jeremy's dick, and cold cock his ass until he's in a half a coma. Snap out Danielle Harris, give her some coffee or something, get her in a hot shower, sober her up, and then ride off into the sunset, baby. That's what we do. Yeah, I'm on board with that all day. I'm on, I, I couldn't have said it any better myself. I'm trying to think. I was like, no, I just topped it. And all your other questions there, they're just weird. <clears throat> but let's see. Uh, you decide to go out, grab a few Hardy Gerps. You arrive at the Hardy Derp store. What the hell is a Hardy Gerp store? Danielle Harris is... In... Okay, yeah. Well, there you go. Moving on. <laughs> yeah, moving on. Killer Questions, 1985. <laughs> Dude! Dude. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> Let's put you two and your family and friends in the Dawn of the Dead situation. You're in a mall and a buttload of flesh-hungry zombies are outside trying to get in and get you. How would you play out the situation to survive and save your loved ones? Well, if there's guns and shit... If, if, if this is modern day, then we're fucked because there ain't no there gun ain't stores no guns, in yeah. malls in modern day. But if this is the old days in 78... Yeah. We're in like Flynn, baby. Yeah. Shit. We don't let anyone in. We do uh, pretty much what they did in uh, Dawn of the Dead that messed everything up. We make sure we don't do that. We make sure we get it locked down, secured, and if anyone goes near that door, they're getting an ass beating. Because I will go and get a tennis machine, the ones that shoot the tennis balls. Whoever's near that door is grabbing their ankles, and I'm putting tennis balls up their ass like I'm John McEnroe on a high. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So that's what we do. Fuck yeah. And I just let this guy take all the good headshots because that's what he does. That's what I do. That's right. Favorite home improvement episode and quotes or jokes? All of the Halloween ones. Yep, all the Halloween ones are, are bad. Bad as fuck. Yep. Quotes and jokes? Well, I like the man bedroom that they did. I like the... Uh, and the man's kitchen. The man's bathroom with the fucking barbed wire toilet seat. Oh, yeah. It was all clear with the barbed wire inside. Hell that was yeah. bad. Quotes though, I'm, I can't really think of any. Yeah, I can't think of any quotes since. either. But other than <laughs> and and when when uh, Al would Al would rip on Tim during the show, that was always good. Oh yeah, he'd rip oh, him yeah. good. Do you think swearing, swearing? Do people even say swearing anymore? And they do now. Should be limited in horror movies. Fuck, fuck no. no. Hell fucking no. Nah. Would you two ever do an around the town type of video? <clears throat> Or you would show the view viewers the area where you live and possibly show the place where you work. No, we can't really show the place where we work. Yeah. But it's funny that you say that because I was thinking about doing that. Really? Yeah. That's a good idea. We'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that. If you two ran the country, what are some of the things you two would do to turn this place upside down and back in the right direction? First. Mm. I already know where you're going. <laughs> Barack Obama would be fired. And Nancy Pelosi. Fired. Quick. That'd be the first order of fucking business. Yeah, yeah. And we would... Uh, we'd legalize everything. And we'd go to all the... Well, all, not everything. But a lot of shit. Yeah. 
Not meth and stuff. No, no. Fuck no. We no. don't need no more of that shit going on. No. And we'd go to the Senate. We'd be like, oh, you've been here for fucking 25 years and haven't left this chair. Well, looks Time like to today's the day you're leaving. Yep. Term limits, definitely. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we'd tell them, no, you've already been in so long, you can't run no more. You, yeah. You've, you've passed your, you, you've, you've served your time. That's the term limit thing, yeah. Yeah. But I would legalize. Well, you know, that's what they would do. Like, the people we kicked out, I'll just run again. But no, no, you yeah. don't get to run again. No, it's yeah. over. It's, you've already you served your go time. Go get a real job, fuckface. Yeah, go work at McDonald's. <coughs> go sell go sell Saw 3D DVDs at Checker for three forty nine. dollars The fuck out of here. <laughs> there you go. You know, stuff like that. Everything that they're not doing, we would do. Legalize weed. If you're gay and you want to get married and suffer with the rest of us, it's your funeral. That's fine. I don't care. If it doesn't hurt nobody or steal from somebody, then I don't know why why it should be wrong or illegal. Because I'm sick of this double standard shit. Yeah, there's a lot of shit. <clears throat> that fucking, that dude that wants to do the mosque at Ground Zero, he'd get bitch slapped for, that'd be yeah, another one of the first things. Yeah, that that'd do. be another thing. Um, if you want your Muslim laws or whatever, then go back to your fucking country where they exist. Don't bring them in my yard. Because yep. that is not going to happen. Lock down the borders. No. Because, again, I'll say, if you're going to build a mosque at Ground Zero, then I want a Japanese fighter bomber training center at Pearl Harbor. And I want, um, what was the other thing I said? I want uh, KKK recruiting post on every Martin Luther King Drive street. I want uh, uh, Nazi museums right across the street from uh, Jewish synagogues. I want it and all. You want, I want satanic churches across the street from Christian churches. Because if we're going to be fair... You want skinhead fucking uh, uh, place where you can sign up to be a skinhead and do all that bullshit where they had that, uh, where Timothy McVeigh bombed that fucking... Oh, in Oklahoma? Yep, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all that shit. Yeah. Because it's, it's be, only fair. If it's equal for one, it's got to be equal for everyone. It does. It does. There ain't no picking and choosing bullshit. Nope. Fuck that. Nope, nope. And we don't want any of that anyway. We're not I, saying no, that no, we do. No, no, no. We're just saying no, 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 if, it's, no. if, if it's going to be that it, way for one, it's got to right. be that way for everyone. You can't just offend certain people. That's right. I agree. <laughs> Good questions, 1985, dude. dude. On to the movie Massacre. Ooh, nice. We got time? We got lots of time. We got plenty of time. Killer questions, oh, yeah. photo ass. I know you're not much of a gamer. Who's not much of a gamer? Oh, yeah, because you... Because I keep breaking shit. Yeah, well, your kids keep breaking shit. Someone keeps breaking it. I, I know, know it ain't you, because when you play them, they work. They used they to. They come home from work, and they don't work they no don't more. They don't work no more, <laughs> exactly. I know you're not much of a gamer, but have That's you played have Red? That's why in front of my PlayStation 3 when I get that. <laughs> no one's getting close to it. Or yeah. They, or they die. My kids have, included. Have you played Red Dead Redemption's Undead Nightmares? No, but I want to so bad. It's so good. I know. So fucking good. Yeah. Cowboy Times with Zombies? Come on. Can't beat it. Good shit. If you have it, I highly recommend you playing it. It has Zombies, Bigfoot Cowboys, and Four Horses of the Apocalypse. Question two. Who would win in a fight between Rambo on Red on Bull, Red Bull <laughs> versus Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th Part 6? Well, I'm going to say this. If it's a new Rambo, if he has that 50, 50 cal, cal, Jason will stand a fucking chance. Because Jason's going to look a lot like he did at the start of Jason Goes to Hell. You agree? I agree. That's how, that's how it would honestly, that's an unfair advantage there. It is, yeah. I'm going to give Jason a 50 cal and teach him how to use a motherfucker. Now we go to fight. Yeah, there you go. They're just on opposite He'd figure out how to shoot that fucking machete over there is what he'd do. Yeah. Big-ass rubber band. What? <laughs> what did you think of Lost Boys of Thirst? You know, I still haven't watched it yet. I haven't gotten it yet either. It's super fucking expensive right now. The regular it one's is. like twenty five ninety nine, and, and then the, the Blu-ray's like 40 Yeah, and I'm like, I ain't paying $40 for a fucking Blu-ray. Yeah. Mm -mm. We'll, we'll let you know, though, because I plan on getting it on payday. What is the strangest movie title... You have ever heard of? I don't know what the strangest is, but one of them for me would be Naked Lunch. That has nothing to do with people eating lunch naked, like I thought it was going to be. <laughs> that had nothing to do with that. All right, I'll go with that. That actually. See yeah. what I mean? It's kind of yeah. weird. It's like this little weird guy and weird yeah. shit. Huh. Like Naked Lunch. Wow. Huh? Check it out. And then I was like, Hey, nobody naked in this month. No, <laughs> no, KQFDA from Anime Angel, OG motherfucker. And I also want to give her a congratulations. She entered a pumpkin carving contest, oh, yeah, which won. was yeah, which was judged by Robert England himself. Well, and it, she won it, and she's getting like a black and white uh, photo, all signed. Let me have it. 
Here are um, my questions for you. I don't, for you, don't have many. Hope you enjoy, my friends, and thanks for the support you've given me on my story and the other stop, awesome stuff I'm doing. Yes, yes. I enjoyed that killer questions you answered on killer questions from the Night Stalker 420 on who you wanted to write a horror film with and thanks for choosing me as one of your four. Zero. So my questions for you is would you really want to do it? Get me and Alex a Hellspawn and two other users you mentioned and do that? Would you really want to do it? I, if they're down, I'm down. That turn that omen into T Berry story she wrote. I don't know if you read that yet. Not yet. It's pretty cool. I'm barely getting story. back into the swing. Yeah. I'm still in LA mode. I'm still yeah. getting back into the <laughs> normal. It's swing a cool of short life. story, and it, but it's short. It'd have to be expanded on. So if anyone's wondering about that, uh, go to her channel, and she'll have the link to where you can read the short story. And you know, if we could turn it into a I'm screenplay. I'm that story and make my own movie out of it. They, well, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, oh, there you go. Cancer presented by Marlboro. Yeah, who else? <laughs> I'd definitely be on and down to do it for my Omen of T-Berry story. The thing is, I'm not good with writing screenplays, though. I'm not good with writing screenplays either. I come up with ideas like a motherfucker. Yeah. But actually putting shit like that together, uh, I can do it, but it... It'd be tricky, but... It takes me a little longer I'm down than to most do it. people. I, I know Alex you, that, You've written all kinds yeah. of shit, though. I mean, I know Alex the Hellspawn's busy with his stuff, and, and so is Twisted, but... I'll I mean, if I got the green light to go ahead and do it, then yeah, I'll give it a shot. I'll direct any fucking thing you want. Well, there you go. I can direct like yeah, a you motherfucker. Yeah, you got the eye. Yeah. Not the mind. No, you I got, got the, the mind. mind of the eye, and you got the creating. But you don't have the transference. Uh-uh, I don't, I, don't like, I don't like the transference part. All right. Here's a tidbit, and I love the word tidbit. Yes, we Fold that ass. It's a tidbit fold that ass. There you go. <laughs> you would probably never know about the 78 horror film Carrie. In the 80s, the film inspired a short-lived Broadway musical by the same name. If it happened to get re revived, would you like to go see it? Of course. Oh, yeah. I'm it's down with shit like classic, that. Man. What's your favorite kind of Halloween candy? Uh, honestly, I'm a candy corn kind of guy. All right. I like the Reese's, peanut butter cup, and the Kit Kats, and the Snickers. I think she means Halloween-themed candy, though, that you get on Halloween. Oh. Like candy corn, or like the candy peeps, the weird stuff like that. I think that's what she's meaning. Oh, you know which ones I like? Those little chocolate and peanut butter, and they're wrapped in the pumpkin foil. Those are bad. Those are really good, actually. There you go. I don't know what they're called. But those are good. Those are really good. You guys have any more song requests you want me to do for my singing video series on my YouTube channel? Let's get to this is actually working, dude. Ah! There we go. I actually there we go. do. There we go. I want you to sing the Acacia Strain Skynet. That's my request. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Do um, a hymn song. Yeah, do a hymn song. If you've never heard of him, which I'm sure you have. But if you've never heard of him, check out their music. The singer is badass. Yeah, do a hymn song. Your choice. <laughs> All right. We're going to shoot on over. So we got more killer questions for the Ova, Ova. Shoot on Rova.